Hello my friends all over the world wherever you are. William Poloniak here again from Whole Health Foundation. In this video I'm going to compare the top loading Norwalk juicer feed tube to the Whole Health Foundation feed tube that has a front loading angle on it. The front loading angle eliminates blowback almost 100 percent and I'm going to make my favorite formula today carrots, beets and French sorrel but this video is mainly to show you the differences in the top loading feed tube and the front loading feed tube. Now as I said this is one of my favorite juice formula I have carrots of course, French sorrel, my favorite green, beets a whole head of garlic, turmeric, and ginger. So let's assemble the juicer and start making some juice. The first feed tube I'm going to demonstrate is the front loading feed tube and I want to remind you that the front loading feed tube has several advantages. First, you get nearly zero blowback and that's because if there is any blowback it will bounce off the angle back and forth and if it does come out the uh, top of the feed tube it will come out one or two inches and you can also see what's going on inside. So let's start making some juice. And I'm going to start with some French sorrel. And remember, because the cutter does such an excellent job, you're going to be tempted to put in more produce, but don't do that. Less is more effective. Now we'll continue with the front loading feed tube, but with a close up. More French sorrel. Next, I'm going to put in a small beet. I'm going to do the same thing with the top loading feed tube. Now the first thing I'll do is clean the grid, both sides, and you notice I put the grid in the palm of my hand, not like so. I'm going to assemble the top loading feed tube. Now watch the difference. We'll start with some greens. French sorrel. And you notice I feed from the top and it's not as ergonomically comfortable as feeding from the front. And I'll do that again. More French sorrel. Carrots. 
Now here's the last of my French sorrel. And again, notice how much easier it is to feed from the front. All right, feeding carrots in from the front. Now notice my motor's working hard, so I'm going to clean my grid. And we'll continue and then switch feed tubes. Now the motor's working hard, so I'm going to clean the grid again and the cutter because I'm switching feed tubes now. The front loading whole health foundation feed tube. I'll put the grid and the grid loader into the Norwalk top loading feed tube. set this aside. Might as well clean off that pulp. Now for the top loading feed tube. Now, little tip, you just use your finger to clean the knife. And let's put the grid and the grid holder into the front loading feed tube. Remove the top loading feed tube. Set that aside. Let's feed in a few ice cubes. Two more carrots. And you'll notice you can actually see what's going on. Not only does the prep loading feature enable more comfortable produce um, processing, it eliminates blowback. And again, you clean both sides, scrape off the pulp. Use your finger to clean the pulp off your knife. Reassemble. And I'm going to do the rest of this with the front loading feed tube because honestly it is much, much more comfortable to do. So, carrots. Cubes. As long as you're below 40, you're okay, but I like to keep it around 20. Well, there you have a comparison, my friends, of the Whole Health Foundation front loading feed tube to the Norwalk Juicer top loading feed tube. I hope you like what you've seen, and I can tell you that I will never go back to the top loading feed tube ever again. My preference is the front loading feed tube for several reasons. First, it's ergonomically more comfortable to use and there's no blowback. It virtually eliminates 100% of the blowback. Again, the question begs to be asked, is the front loading feed tube necessary? Well, it does eliminate blowback almost 100%. If it does blow back any, it'll only come up a couple of inches. To me, that's a major, major improvement. But do you really need it? Well, no you don't. If you use the top loading feed tube and you're careful, you can minimize blowback and it's not really necessary. But if you want the improvement and you can afford $275 to have it done, send me your feed tube. I'll have my machine shop cut it at an angle, weld it back together, and send it back to you. And if you want to call me, my phone number is 760-753-0321. My email address is developtrust at cox.net, and my webpage is wholehealthfound.com. I'll see you in the next video.